there. Welcome to the first basketball edition of the Huddle for 2013. I'm Ruth Lang here with sports editor Mike Brown. Mike, tell us, what do you think some of the impressions of boys basketball season so far are? Well, Ruth, uh, Happy New Year, by the way, Ruth. Uh, and Happy New Year, New Year to everybody out there, too. Uh, I think there have been some surprises, boys and girls, so far. Uh, I think the biggest surprise has probably been Canton South. You know, I didn't, uh, you know, they were young last year. They've really come out of the gate this year uh, well. And I think uh, Canton South and Salem and Alliance and Marlington and Carrollton are, are really good boys basketball teams. And it's going to be interesting to see how the race plays out to see who wins the title this year. There's some key matchups in the Northeastern mm -hmm. Buckeye Conference. Will you tell us about some of those, Mike? Yeah, I think the big game Friday night will be Alliance at Carrollton. Uh, boy, that's a game. I can't pick a winner in that game. I mean, they both have, they're so good in different areas. Uh, Carrollton has Erickson, uh, the center coming back, who's really a good player and has been for the last couple of years. Uh, Alliance is coming off that 23-1 and team from last year, has a lot of talent back. Uh, the games at Carrollton, the black hole as they call it down there, that's a tough place to win for a visiting team. Uh, that'll be a good game. That's that's a kind of a contrast in styles down there, and we'll see which style wins out. Okay, so key matchups for this Friday night include Alliance at Carrollton, mm -hmm. Louisville at Marlington, Minerva at West Branch, Jackson Milton at Sebring, St. Thomas at Gilmore, and South Range at Western Reserve. Turning now to girls basketball, we had most of our area teams off due to the holidays, but we have them returning to league action on Saturday. Mike, what are some of the games going to look like this weekend? Well, i tell you what, there have been some really nice surprises this year, especially in the NBC. Uh, you know, the Carrollton girls were supposed to be good, they are. The West Branch girls were supposed to be good, they are. The Louisville girls have been a pleasant surprise. You know, they lost some key players from that NBC team from last year, and I think everybody thought they might be down just a little bit. Not the case. They're sitting here in first place. Uh, and, you know, they've, they've beaten West Branch already, they've beaten Carrollton already, they've beaten some really good teams. And, and they're going to be a factor all the way through this thing. You know, the second half of the year will be really interesting because they have to go to West Branch in the second half of the year. I think that's a key game. And the other team that's been a really big surprise, the Minerva girls basketball team, uh, great program, uh, always have been good. Uh, they were a little young last year, and I think people thought they might be a little bit young again this year, but not the case. You know, they're off to an 8-1 start, mm -hmm. and the Minerva Lions are right in this mix, too. I think Ruth, they could come down to Minerva, West Branch, Louisville, and Carrollton. I mean, those four teams, I can't tell you. You know, it's, it's going to come down to probably which team stumbles once that would probably upset the apple cart, so to speak, uh, because right now I could see all those teams winning at home and possibly losing on the road, so it's going to take that one team that kind of stumbles maybe at home uh, that might might change the NBC uh, title chase there. Sure, sure. So um, area basketball games scheduled for Saturday include, mm -hmm. for the girls, Alliance at Louisville, mm -hmm. Minerva at West Branch, Marlington at Canton South, Carrollton at Salem, Dalton at St. Thomas Aquinas, and Waterloo at Mogador. That wraps up this week's edition of The Huddle. Tune back in next week for some more basketball action update. And keep tuned on the, the review.com and the Alliance Review Sports section. Thank you.